you already know what this video is about. Let's get into it. The first title in this list is called Knockout, and you can find it over in the Build In Build Out category. Here it is called Knockout, and I'll apply that on the timeline. What Knockout does is it knocks out the background except for where your title is. So we can adjust the scale on this title. We could write in whatever we want. And now that animation will be applied and it cuts out the background perfectly. That said, pretty much any basic title can be used as a knockout title just using some simple blend modes. For example, if I just push Ctrl T to add in a basic title, let's scale it up and I will change the font on it to be Passion 1. From there, I will go to my video inspector and change the blend mode from normal over to stencil alpha and just like that we are now cutting out the background so if i had any sort of custom animations applied to this title that would cut out the background in the same way that knockout does the nice thing about knockout is it's already been done for you the next title on this list is one you see all over the place and it's called typewriter it's also found in the build and build out category and we'll just apply this onto the timeline pushing play we can see we have this basic animation of our title being typed on that said, we can, of course, change what this title says. And if we go to the title inspector, we can change the font. So you don't have to have this ugly typewriter font. You can have it be whatever you like to match your branding. You can change the color. You can have it fade in. You can adjust the duration to be much shorter. So pushing play, we have a completely different style of animation. Title number three on this list is called Subtle, and it is again found in the build in out category in Final Cut Pro. So let's apply Subtle onto the timeline. We can see that we have this really nice kind of bleary animation. I really like how it looks. It's very cinematic if you ask me. But additionally, we can come over here to the right in the title inspector, and we can adjust stuff like the scale and the font. But on top of that, we can also change the style of build-in animation. So by default, it's the bleary animation, and that one's probably my favorite. But if you want to get creative, you can change this over to something like Breeze and pushing play. We can see that we have this completely different title animation, which I really like. Title number four is finally in a different category, and it is found in the 3D cinematic titles. We can see that we have this really kind of almost a severance style title here happening directly in Final Cut Pro. Of course, all of this lighting is adjusted based on whatever you write in your text, and you can change settings in the title inspector based off of its animation, how long the animation will take, plus you can enable or disable the background, and you can even change the background color, which adjusts those shadows to work accordingly. One other bonus tip is maybe you want this to kind of take on the look of the background. Well, we can use a blend mode to do just that. Let's dive over into our video inspector and change the blend mode from normal over to something like multiply. And now we can see that title has these cool shadows, but it's also taking on the color of the background, which I really like. Title number five on this list is again found in the build in, build out category. You really gotta look inside this category. There's a lot going on in there. Let's drag tracking down on the timeline and pushing play. You can see that the text starts out in a very cinematic animation style where it's stretched out and then the letters slowly come together. Some additional settings we can take a look at here are we can change the font very easily, but more importantly, we can change the tracking in and tracking out levels. So if you want to spread these letters or part really far, we can do just that by dragging that up. And now they come from a much farther distance. These next titles are found in more recent versions of Final Cut Pro. So if you have an older version of Final Cut, you might not have access to these ones. Most of these are going to be found inside of the dynamic titles category. So title number five on this list is this blur category. And I'll go ahead and use this one that says title over footage and apply that on. What I really like about this particular title is it blurs the background in a really interesting and unique way that I haven't seen all that much. But then of course your title can be fully adjusted to write in whatever you want. So it's a really unique looking style. But additionally, you can take a look at some of these other blur categories like this title with footage and adding that to the timeline, we've got this kind of green blob. But you'll also see that we're seeing some of the background here on this right hand side. So if we wanted to, I'm gonna push Shift T to get the transform tool and move the sun to be over inside of that blob. So now we have kind of this masked out version of our background and I think it looks really nice. Plus selecting our title, we can go up to the title inspector 
and we can adjust the background color just by using this simple slider so we can get it to match a little bit better with some of the reds. We could increase the saturation and you could even adjust the brightness to your likings. This next title I think will be super helpful for a lot of tutorial style content and that is called the sliding box title. Again, it's found under dynamic titles and if we apply this down on the timeline, you can see that playing it has this nice little dynamic box that we can adjust. We can offset the scale of it. We can move it around in the screen. We can also shrink or expand the scale of this box. And then of course we have our title on the right hand side. Plus taking a look up in the title inspector, we have full control over stuff like the background. And if we have a build in build out animation. So again, if I push play, there's this fancy little animation. And if you wanted to get rid of that, you just disable build in. Title number seven on this list is called Repeated Headline, and it is also included in the Dynamic Titles category. My personal favorite variation of this is Title with Footage, and I'll again apply that on the timeline, and pushing play, you can see it has this really dynamic text animation at the beginning, which I just absolutely love. Feels super modern. And something I quickly want to mention about the Dynamic Titles category is that they've all been adapted to work with vertical timelines, and pretty much all of these can be found over on Final Cut Pro for the iPad. So, again, pushing play, this is what it looks like on a vertical timeline, and I just think it looks great in either 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. Title number eight on this list is my actual personal favorite from this list, and it's called the Masking Type Title. I just love the dynamic energy that this particular title brings. You'll find it again in the dynamic titles category. We can drop this down on the timeline and pushing play. Let's get a good idea of what this looks like. It starts off big and blocky with its text and then it shrinks down to the final form. So really love the energy that this particular title brings. And one other quick mention with this masking type variation is the bumper version. By adding this on the timeline, you can see that it actually crowds in over the top of your original video but then it shows your title in full with this nice background and then pushing play, it can go over to the next shot. So you can essentially use this as a transition between two clips, but you can also make a statement between the two clips with whatever your title is going to say. Title number nine on this list is again another title found inside of dynamic titles. Shocker, I know. There's a lot of really amazing titles inside this category. The title we'll be taking a look at is this rotation title, and I happen to like the last variation of it the most. We can see how it reveals the underlying footage with this nice headline title in front of it, and continuing to play, that headline footage is then fully revealed at the end. That said, there's some other really cool options with this particular title. We can adjust the offset of the video lying underneath. So maybe we want to really focus on that sun. We can slide that over just like so. Then we can go to the title inspector and we can adjust the animation type so we can have it rotate from the right, top or bottom. Let's go ahead and do bottom. We can adjust the inset scale here if we want to. And of course, we can adjust the background color. So if we wanted to make the whole background more of a dark color to match and really make this red pop, we could do just that. And let's push play and see all those changes. And finally, we have title number 10. And this particular title is fully customizable. Taking a look, we'll locate it over here in 3D and it's called Custom 3D. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I don't want to work with 3D titles. Well, fortunately, you can completely disable the 3D effect. So I'll go ahead and apply custom 3D down on the timeline. What's cool about the custom 3D title is coming over here to the right side, we have an enormous amount of options to play around with. And all we need to do to really animate this is adjust the move in, rotate in, and scale in options. So taking a look over here on the right, let's change the move in to be from zoom up. And let's adjust the rotate in to be backwards and we'll adjust the scale to shrink over time. So let's just see what that does with our title. And you can see that we've created this fully custom animation using these different variations. If you're not happy with that, all we need to do is adjust the move in to be, let's try random one. Let's change the rotate in to be 180 roll and a scale to be grow. And just like that, we've created a completely different title type. Let's try one more just for fun. Let's change this to be random. We'll do move in from the right. We'll change it to tumble and we can go ahead and set the scale to none, but we'll have it fade in. 
And again, we have a completely different title type, but maybe we're not happy with it being 3D. Well, all we need to do is come up here to the text inspector and we'll scroll down and you'll see that 3D text has been checked. Let's just disable that. And now we have a 2D title. We can go into the face settings and let's just change this to whatever color we want. I'll just leave it as white and pushing play. All of those title animations are taking place even though our title is just a 2D object. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that subscribe button and helping me reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That would mean so much to me. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.